stretch. Go on. A typical day on board, we aim to see as much of the local area as possible that we're sailing in. And it may mean that we drop anchor at lunchtime and take the dinghy in ashore to walk or to climb a mountain or visit a historic castle. Wildlife is one of those things that everybody enjoys and on board a vessel such as Bessie Ellen we can reach it so easily. Whales, dolphins, seals and birds, mountains, rivers, it's all there on board a ship. Whereas when you're landlocked it's a little harder to reach those special moments that a ship can deliver. Oh gosh, you've got an impression of his size now. It's nearly a full-time job in its own right, certainly for the amount of people we're cooking for. Um, but if, you, if you're careful with choosing the right recipes that look good and taste great, then uh, it's not too difficult. But on board we make all our own bread and all that sort of stuff as well. And of course, orange cake. Right. Well, this afternoon, as we're sailing around Dogman Point and it's a bit bouncy, we're making a very quick orange cake recipe with uh, no flour and almonds and no fat either. So it also covers a lot of people who can't eat certain foods. So here we go, hold tight. So we've got a mix here of white sugar and brown sugar to give it taste and colour. So this is a, an easy recipe while we're sailing at sea and we've taken it from a book called Pulpo, which is a, an Italian restaurant in London. But the nice thing is with some of our recipes is that we try to keep things very simple and straightforward so they're not complicated and they also don't use too much gas. So that, this is all going to be made in the blender. Of course you can make it by hand if necessary, um, either a hand whisk or a balloon whisk. So that goes into the machine. Just going to whiz that up a bit. And then slowly add our six eggs, one by one. So we're going to blend in six eggs until we've got a nice, white, fluffy mixture. This will help it be a bit lighter. And just turn the boys on deck, they can smell everything, so they'll be getting well hungry. And it's raining now, so I'm glad to be here. Yeah, that's our. looking. I'm going to blend this a little bit more because I want it slightly thicker so we can put that on and we can leave that whisking away. While that's running I've got half a bag, 500 grams of almonds here and an orange and a teaspoon of baking powder is going to go into this as well. So I'm going to put a teaspoon of baking powder in with the almonds give it a bit of lift and lightness. So that looks the right consistency and this is the fun bit. So the batter that we've made here, uh, now it's a bit thicker, I'm going to take um, one orange, one large orange or two small oranges that we've cooked uh, in boiling water for about an hour and a half 
that's the only bit that's a bit heavy on the gas yeah so we just drop that in all goes in beautiful oh, it smells great I'm cutting it into rough quarters just um, to help the blender but I think with smaller ones you can drop halves in so there we go that's our orange So we're going to blend up our orange, which we've put in our batter, hanging on tight. I tell you, cooking at sea can sometimes be a little awkward with the movement. But today, although we're going around the dogman, it's not too bad. Give, that a few, give this a few whizzes. Just check it's all broken up inside to a fine pulp. amazing right that's pretty much it so now we're going to drop our almond and baking powder into the sugar and egg batter oh it's so easy and so good we like our food like that so that goes in there pop the lid on again and just give it a few short blasts just to make sure that's fully mixed up it's got the baking powder in it so we have to act quite quickly now just one last blast and then just put that into a, a lined and greased tin and you can see it's really thin so don't worry too much the only thing that you need to if you don't have a, a big oven on a boat Make, or a big cake tin. Maybe it'd be wise just to pop something underneath in case it runs over. There we go. So that is going in our oven behind us. Okay, so quickly in the oven. Whoa. On the lee side, I think today. And that's it. Give that half an hour. Yeah. And then just to finish off while, um, while the cake's cooking, we're going to make a syrup from the, the juice, the water that we boiled the orange in, which has got a slight taste, and about 250 grams of sugar and the zest of another orange. Just in the water. We'll boil that down, reduce it till it's a, a light syrup not heavy and that's going to go on top of the cake as it cools down before we serve it oh, it's amazing yeah. they're gonna love it on there cold hungry boys and this is just going to reduce down for 15 minutes on full gas until it's a nice syrup. So I'm going to leave this on the stove and just go and check our course and where we are and make sure everybody's fine. Good. Exit. Exit. How are you open about? It's shit. Let's go for the cities. Okay. So, finally, Hungry people out there, and our cake is done. While this was doing, we made our orange syrup. Whoa! <laughs> Leo, they cry up there. They tack now, they're not getting any cake at all. Whoa. Wow, look at that. That's such an amazing colour. Slightly lopsided. Wow. Oh. Come on. 
last sticky bit. Oh well, cook's perks. I'll have that. And then, like um, like we said earlier, we have that lovely water that the orange had cooked in. And I've mixed that with the orange peel and the sugar and we've got a lovely syrup. So I'm just gonna put that all over the top. And then just spoon some of this over the top and let it soak in for 10 minutes or so and that'll get absorbed and make it a really nice moist cake 